Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today's video is going to be another uh, second episode of Antigone, Wisconsin, Season 2. We are out in the beautiful woods today. Totally not next to a highway. <clears throat> and uh, I just got in this little area. I'm trying to find uh, some formica that I can possibly get brewed from. Or more than likely, hopefully, collect a colony out of the, from the wild. Got my bag there. That was only uh, collection stuff. Uh, and yeah, I hope to go ahead and get into it, and it looks like I totally didn't pre-plan this. We have a mound right here. Alright. Let's go ahead and check this one out. Oh, yep. Definitely Formica. No queen, though. Probably some type of, uh, Formica Fusca group. More than likely. Very tiny, small mound there. Pretty much the size of my hand. Uh, first Formica, I guess, so far. And uh, hopefully we can come across the red Formica, the Formica Integra group. Oh, wait, is that a queen? Oh no, it's a Nova Borkensis major. Look at that. <clears throat> huh. That's neat. Alright, back to the search. Well, it looks like I have came across a Campanatus Novoborkensis colony. As you can see, there are workers and all sorts of stuff inside of here. Oh, and they're nesting right next to what looks to be uh, Lasius Americanus as well. So, I need to keep this log in mind for when flight season comes because I can get myself some brood. You can definitely see, uh, these are the, pretty much the brood that, uh, their first brood. I don't like taking first broods of Nove, mainly because they take so long to develop, but this colony is obviously doing rather well, and I hope that they continue doing well despite the fact that it destroyed their nest. So, yeah. I not find really much of anything besides for those two colonies over here. Uh, I'm pretty much scouting out new places, uh, mainly because... Uh, I kind of don't know uh, where else to ant. Uh, my old anting spot ended up getting destroyed, or is getting destroyed currently, which is quite sad. So I need to try to find a new place that uh, isn't getting destroyed. So, yeah, that's my current plan and what this video really is. My next location, and looks like I got a nice colony of Campana or not Campanas Americanus, Lasius Americanus. See, just look at all that brood. Insane amount of eggs there. The queen definitely was over here, but she might have disappeared when I flipped the rock. But yeah, that is that is absolutely awesome. So much brood. I wonder if it's the same under this one here. Oh, no, it's just this rock. Alright, well, I'm gonna flip that rock back over. Can you search on And of course, if you look at that, we got some queens. We got a worker, workers, and a queen. The queen was just like chilling right here. So, my guess was right. That's pretty cool. By the way, uh, those of you wondering how the colony will fare without their queen, uh, this species, uh, Laces Americanus, is although known to be, uh, monogenous, you know, one queen, uh, they actually have multiple queens in my area, which I find is pretty neat. Uh, there's a few areas that are kind of like that, uh, in a few places in the world, but, uh, the fact that I have a population near me is pretty neat. Um, we kept on me and T-Bone, uh, I think you probably find what some of the videos on our adventures, whether it be the camping vlogs or anting adventures, you can see that we have caught multiple multi-queened colonies in the past in my area, so uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure that they'll be fine uh, without their one queen and a few workers and a few hundred, you know, eggs. So yeah, good find, and I'll be back to find something new. This huge mound that I just found. Wow! This is insane! It's all overgrown and stuff, but that is definitely an ant mound. 
the one who deserve deserve all of it. But oh my lord, oh my lord, lordy lordy, that is a lot of ants. Yeah, this is a Formica substracea mound, all right. This is obviously a polygynous colony of them. Get off me. Uh, this colony can easily have hundreds and hundreds of queens. Easily. If I was to move this log, the amount of ants that would come out would be insane. This colony easily has hundreds of thousands of workers. Without a doubt. This colony is the main colony of the area. For sure. Well, I have a general rule when it comes to anting. That is that I do not like to disturb these huge mounds. These huge mounds have a pretty, you know, good reason to be here. They're key parts of the ecosystem, in my opinion. And, uh, yeah. So I will not be messing around with this ant mound at all. Uh, they will forever be this way. Unless I want to come in here and grab, like, host workers for, like, parasitic queens later on in the season. Then I might come here, but I'm definitely not taking any queens from here. Even though I'm sure if they lost a few queens, it wouldn't really hurt them all that bad. Still, there's a principle that I follow. Yeah. So, that, that was a cool find. That was, that was a really cool find. I'll go ahead and continue looking around. This area has already gotten me a colony and a place where I can get brewed for the upcoming parasitic season. Which is a pretty good spot, I'd say. All it's really missing is the parasites. And this spot will be one of the ones that I go to then. I've decided that this area will be an area that I will be coming back to sometime. Uh, <clears throat> in fact, I've already found one ant colony here, the first ant colony collected of the season, and then an absolutely massive colony of Formica substracea, along with smaller colonies that are kind of just all over the place. I think this place is going to be a very good spot to go to for anting. Uh, so yeah, I will go ahead and check out other areas, maybe, or I'm going to go to a spot that I know has a massive ant colony, and I actually bought a container to collect them and bring them home in. So, we'll see where I am at in literally one cut, because for you it's going to be one cut, but for me it's going to be a little bit more than one cut. <laughs> so after ripping up some logs for a while here, see there's quite a bit of it just kind of everywhere, I've been officially able to catch a small little grouping of this huge colony of queens. Uh, there's at least six queens in here. Somewhere. Just sort of. Oh, there's a queen. There she is. <clears throat> so yeah. Not that many workers, but <clears throat> I'm going to try my hardest to keep them alive. Ouch. Ouch, that hurt. Need to be mindful of others. Uh, any, anyways, uh, yeah, <clears throat> I'm gonna get back home now. Uh, yeah, it's quite quite interesting. Hopefully these guys live. So, oh, also I forgot to say this. It's uh, Formica Obscure Ventress. I have them pra practically everywhere, but I've never been able to successfully keep a colony for longer than a few months. Because I, I'm kind of good at killing them. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, I'll end up going home, and I guess that's the end of the video. Uh, or it shouldn't even be the end of the video. That's the end of day one of... This week, I'm going to probably be doing this every single day, so I'm probably going to condense it down into at least one video. One longer video. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys on day two, I guess. Here.
angry Gar garter snake. I'm holding it by its tail because I don't feel like getting bitten right now. But, yeah. Very angry boy. Very angry. Oh, look at that mouth. Oh, look at how angry you are. So angry. Alright. I'll let you go. Yeah, yeah, no. Oh, look at how angry you are. Look at that. Anger. Oh, anger. Oh, I'll let you go. Go on. Go on. Be angry. Be angry somewhere else. Go on. So, of course, uh, I'm out day two. And the first ants that I am finding here are some Formica Obscure Ventress. I tried to get to their queen. I did see her queens. I saw one queen and she slipped away. This colony obviously has more than two queens. They pretty much inhabit this entire log here. Uh, it's the only colony though, so I didn't want to take more than that. Or at least I think it's the only colony. Uh, or nest, rather. But they're kind of known for having really inconspicuous nests. Just kind of scattered all around the place. So, I'm going to continue looking in this field. Or, what's a field? More like a fieldy, grassy area. So, yeah. I'm going to continue looking around and try to figure out if there's anything here that is worthwhile. Spot was, uh, dicey, I guess. Some cool ants are over here. Mainly just the obscure Ventress. I know there's Nova in these woods, quite obviously. But, I'm wearing a helmet if you're wondering why it sounds so weird. But, ultimately, uh, not, not much here. Not much here, really, when it comes to ants. So, I'm going to go to the next spot uh, and hope that there's something there. If not, uh, that sucks. And that's a really anticlimactic way to end the video. So, here's hoping. This is the last spot for today. Or not today, but... Last new spot. Uh, looks like we got some Formica. Uh, let's see here. What type of Formica are you? Slave makers? Nope. Just Subteresia, it looks like. So, or Fusca group, rather. Alright. So, nothing there. I'm just going to keep on looking around. Maybe there's something interesting around here. Uh... Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. This place feels like a complete and utter dead ground. Uh, <clears throat> there's nothing here. Thanks for Formica mounds. Which. I mean, they're Formica substrecia. This kind of sucks. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and check out this log over here. There's a huge drop over here. It's not huge, but oops. But it's a drop nonetheless. Lots of dead logs, but they haven't been downed long enough for anything to really be living in them. So, I'm gonna just keep looking around and hope I maybe find something. Kinda sucks. Yeah, this is this is way too new. This one still has bark on it, so maybe something's here. Nope. Nothing. Wow. Alright then. I think this spot's over with. Uh, there's a nice hill that I'm going to drive down my down on my ATV with because that, that looks like it would be fun. But not really completing my mission here. I think I'm going to go ahead and check out my backyard. Better chance of me finding stuff there than here. So, Oh, wow, that's a big mound, actually. Once again, you know. So, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna get home, cry because I can't, didn't find any more spots, and then, yeah, I think I'll cry and that's it. No, I can go anything, but no. 
Oh wait, oh. Nope. <sighs> Sucks. I was happy for a second there. So yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and do that now. Found yet another obscure Ventress nest. Uh, I don't know if I'll get queens out of this one, but who knows? Well, shall we? I guess we shall. I could probably get queens if I ripped into this, but I don't want to do that. I just want to... Okay, then. Well, I accidentally ripped into it. <laughs> Didn't want that to happen. Oh my lord. Ow! Yeah, they do not like me. To another nest, I ended up not getting to the queen. Uh, there was, in fact, a queen. Uh, two queens, actually. But I missed them, so... <sighs> This is Formica Obscure Ventress territory, apparently. Gotta get more Lisa Americanus here. Americanus, nesting in this here piece of wood. <clears throat> Very American looking ants. Lacious Americanus. Let's check this one here. Check this. One that's been being heated. Oh, just look at that, Brevicornus. Oh my lord, why are you going in there? That is such a horrible idea. Oh, now you're attacking me after... Okay. Well, the grass got him. <laughs> <sighs> Anyways, I guess I'll continue searching around this area and try to figure out if there's some other colony I could try and collect a queen out of. I was hoping to catch those two queens out of that obscure Ventress colony. Then I could have a smaller colony. Alongside the larger one. Or I could have added that queen in with the other one. Oh, wow. That is a steep drop. That's pretty insane. I want to check that tire, though. So I have to find a way down. My backyard now. Uh, as you can see, I ended up actually catching a Campanatus Herculeanus queen here. Uh, first queen of the year that it hasn't been caught from an, you know, an actual ant colony. Uh, this is a good sign. This meant that they flew last night, which actually kind of sucks because that means I'm probably not going to catch that many this year. Uh, <clears throat> normally I catch them during their flights. But last night, I was kind of pooped from being outside and catching ants all day. So I ended up actually not sticking around until they flew. Uh, also, I wasn't expecting it really. You know, it, it's been not exactly the best conditions for them, to say the least. Uh, so yeah, I was rather confused. And I'm even more confused. It's found some new gates. Where'd you go? There's a worker. Oh, where's the worker? There. Neo gay gates. I do like some neo gay gates. Oh wow, yeah. There's quite a few actually. I think there's a queen nearby. They don't dig the deepest. They also have the really small colonies generally. So maybe I can find a queen. Hmm. Nope. They're normally polygynous, so... Oh, wow, yeah, they're kind of everywhere over here. Hmm. Well, I don't feel like digging into the ground and possibly killing the colony. So I'm going to leave them be. I'm going to continue checking out other areas for other things under here. Alright. Uh... Oh, another new Gates colony. I'll actually flip that and see if there is actually a colony in there. Nope, no queens under there. Uh, I'll keep on looking around. I'm really hoping to catch a Myrmica colony. Myrmica colonies are really like my backyard. They always appear every year. So hopefully I can get another Myrmica colony. They're cool. And snakes might be under this, so... Let me see if I can catch myself a snake today. There was no snake under that, but there is in fact a rodent. It is a squirrel, uh, or a chipmunk, just under here, right under this corner here. 
So that's neat. That that's the first time I've ever gotten close up and personal with one. So that's good to see that the rodents are starting to come out now. Uh, means that we're gonna be seeing more stuff. I don't know. At least that's how I perceive it. So yeah, still missing Myrmica. So I'm gonna keep looking around. Perhaps maybe find some snakes, and maybe if I'm lucky, catch some Myrmica punctiventris, because that's the one that inhabits my yard uh, pretty much every year. Multiple large colonies of punctiventris. So here's hoping. Look at that, we got ourselves some Tapanoma sessile here. Don't see the queen, so I will not be collecting them. The species around here are either polygynous or monogynous. I have a little bit of a luck in having both, so uh, it's always kind of a guessing game as to, you know, what you get, really. So, looks like these ones are probably the monogynous types, seeing as in I can't find their queen or queens. Unless that's her there being kind of huddled by workers. Nope, it's not. Just a bunch of brood. So yeah. Interesting. Her perhaps? No. Alright. Well, I guess I'll put it back and let the colony do its thing. And uh, they'll probably move out of here because I just served their nest, but... You know. At least they don't get collected. <laughs> I forgot to record a outro for that. Woo! Uh, this is the outro for this then. Uh, like the video if you like it. Dislike if you dislike it. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, like the video. I already said that. Thanks, dog, for ruining this. Uh, yeah, besides for that, um, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, Patreon, Instagram, Discord, and the like. You, you, you get, you get the gist. Okay, and check the description. You'll find a bunch of cool stuff there. Okay, and then bye.